promise y'all I'm not dead. Anyway, with that being said, bars though. Um, we're going back into Zofarok, the place that did kill me. But this time, I'm better prepared by like two or three times. My armor, my gear, all that's better. I got Liam. I got Gahanis with me. Okay, Gahanis is like best in slot warrior that I've seen. Uh, Liam, she does her thing. She's a heel queen when it comes to those heels, I'm telling you. She, she reminds me of my heels, pretty tough heels. So, with further ado, without any further ado, I don't know why I just said it like that. Without any further ado, let's get on it. <laughs> very wary of unto soul this guy summons basilisks to come fight you and the worst part about it is he can make or break your group with the amount of summons he has be very careful and to make sure all the aggro is pulled before fighting him so this boss is like a tank and spank especially when your healer is really good and your tanks really good the only thing you have to do is dps when the spawns come in your warrior handles that but the only thing dangerous about this guy is his totems and his electric damage very scary charging up chain lightning it's gonna hurt yeah. that chain lightning is a problem with a very sturdy healer and an extraordinary tank unto soul was defeated and he's down so check this out. Dealing with the guys on Zulfarok sucks so bad. Like dealing with the tower and having them come up and down the tower to fight. And then it's a wave of one, two, and possibly even three. It takes like ten minutes. It's very annoying. I hate it. With a passion. Now, what I don't like about this is that there are two bosses and one of them always drops leather gear. And I can't stand it. But with that being said, this fight is just like long, grueling. And kind of pointless it gives off experience but at the same time it's pointless you got to free these alliance members on top of the tower and then they turn and betray you and you have to fight them anyway which leads to the very last final fight if you have problems fighting necrom gut chewer just realize that he's an undead troll you can fear him away and just take on that shadow priest shadow priest says this can be a very big problem if his fear hits you but that's only if there's a crowd No, the heck they didn't just fear me. No, the heck they didn't just fear me. Come here. Level 47. Not bad, my guy. Still gotta die. Bars. Stop it. Every time I fight this boss, there's only one item that drops, and it's the Jinx Hoodoo skin. A good leather piece. I am not gonna even take that. Oh, yeah! They call this guy the Godzilla, but it's supposed to be Godzilla in disguise. Now, about a week ago I said that, or has it been like three days? I'm not even sure. But yeah, rip off Godzilla is literally the way to go about this. He looks like Godzilla, but with three heads and shoots ice. <laughs> Godzilla is only level 46. I, I get that you're going to need five people to fight him. That's the way it's God's really can freeze you solid. I don't like that knock up. That knock up's not fair. Imagine your only ranged egg. So the Sand Furies, they're two brothers, and they're both warriors. They're normally a tank and spank situation. One of them has a stun, I don't know if they actually do it, but again, if you have a sturdy tank and a sturdy healer here, this fight's very easy. They have minions, there's, what, four snakes, two lizards, and they have the ability to turn you into stone. Other than that, the fight's easy. I'm not gonna try to crit anybody here. Lanta crit. You get your butt back here. I don't think you can stun them. 
I really. Yep, there's the line. The same for your Grim Supreme. Ah! Yeah, I can't stun. I just wasted mana. Precious mana, too, because I'm running low low. Oh. They're spawning. Excuse me? Hello? glad this run's over. A good redeeming run. Well, I felt like I needed to record again because I am completely lost. I was trying to make my way to the hinterlands, but I feel like if I just jump off this path, turn this direction, and keep straight, I'll be fine. Now you're probably asking, Kashi, why do you do these dangerous things? And the answer is real simple. I got you. Because I like just doing bad things, you feel me? Like jumping off a cliff is easy. Sometimes I live, sometimes I die. What the hell? That's what I was. I, I found the hinterlands. I found the hinterlands. Things are not as bad as I thought. Okay, we're all good. I was scared. I repeat, I do not have a fear of spiders. I have a strong dislike of spiders. So when I see spiders in video games, even then, I'm like, that has to be the first thing to die. I no longer want to see it. It's, it's something with the legs and the eyes that just get me unnerved, so to speak. But they can surprise me every now and again. Oh! <laughs> I gotta watch out because this thing actually... Be me, getting summoned to the slag pit. Out here at Grand Hill level 56s, do they dungeons? I'm crazy. I'm crazy. I don't know why I even got myself to do that. Like, but it worked out. 56 is wild. What the? There's a bunch of quests too. So Latheric the Black wasn't playing with me. He actually smacked me for 461 damage. He needs some milk. Nope. Get him away from me. He's touching me. He touched me. I'm surprised I took the hit. So being 7 levels under this guy, being able to take a hit for 451 is insane. But I'm glad I'm a paladin because that was the only reason I could take that hit. Excuse me, sir. I even landed that stun. You can take that mighty stun. What's even more amazing than me healing these guys was the fact that they walked me back to the town and made sure I was completely safe. You can't get no better than that. They have a key to the quarry. Searing Gorge, this is terrible. This man for 300 damage and it said. I'm not wearing my damage. Good to know. I'll make it. Girl, where'd you come from? Come here anymore. 48. Y'all are wildin'. Thank God. Fire guy? I'm just... Nah. Nah. I didn't. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. This has been your boy Kashi Mugen and I'm out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And please tell me the most disgusting part of the video. I know it's got to be the spiders. They're disgusting. DISGUSTING!